Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a little trick I like to use in order to control the timbre of my FM leads. So I have this patch which sounds like this. As you can hear, every note sounds exactly the same. And I don't want that. I want to give it a slightly a different timbre without me being able to without me having to create another sound, basically. So in order to do that, um, I can just turn down the random knob over here, which result in oscillator B triggering from the same phase each note, while oscillator A will have a different starting point or phase each time a note is pressed. So now it's gonna sound like this. So with that being said, I want to control this as well. So I have to turn down the random knob again, but this will, will result in, let me just set it to 180. This will result into square one again, where everything sounds the same. Right, so turn up the random. Sounds exactly the same. except for one of them being random and the other one not random. So in order to control this, we have to map a macro to the phase. And I'm going to map macro two to phase B over here. And now we have something like this. But if I move, we get different sounds. So let's just re-enable the patch as is it supposed to sound. No, uh, oops, there we go. Oops, I forgot a hyperdimension. And then the beat repeat. So let's just jam a little bit. So the idea behind it is to have a play and try to find the sweet spots of the actual phase because what's going on here in Serum is actually not like true FM, but actually phase modulation. So by altering the phase, i.e. the starting point of the actual wavetable or the oscillator, we get slightly different timbres, um, which can really make or break the sound of your FM. So that was a little secret I wanted to share with you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.